SSS, SSS. Farmer Field Schools, developed by FAO more than 30 years ago, is a platform for smallholder farmers to come together to exchange information, test practices, and co-create innovations. Meanwhile, gaining practical skills that allow them to transition to more sustainable production practices. Farmer Field Schools have been a success across Africa, and as a result, demand continues to grow. The popularity and spread of Farmer Field Schools has posed some issues, particularly maintaining the quality of implementation while scaling up. In response to this need, FAO developed a project to mainstream Farmer Field Schools into the curricula of higher learning institutions in Eastern Africa. By integrating the methodology into higher learning institutions agricultural extension curricula, countries can train current extension agents or mold future professionals to become well-versed farmer field schools facilitators and master trainers. Considering the need to adhere to a clearly defined pathway for institutionalization, stages must be completed in order to not compromise the quality of the process. This instructional video outlines the different steps needed to fully institutionalize the Farmer Field School's methodology in higher learning institutions. The first step begins with a sensitization event with the interested higher learning institution. A three-day event was organized where the FAO team came. They sensitized us on this concept of FFS. We were introduced to the idea of FFS and uh, FAO thinking on how FAO could work with the universities to be able to mainstream these, the, the training into the university curricula. had already an FFS curriculum that was developed in Nairobi and compared that with the existing extension course that was being offered here in Awasa. So that was the document and the review committee wanted to have additional document on FFS. The university is um, well uh, exposed to agricultural extension, however, this method was new. We did not want to take, take it up uh, fully as it is because we had to contextualize it to the Ethiopian conditions. We have developed a, a short course. You may not have even done agriculture, but you can come and uh, learn about the FFS concept as a short course now uh, for like six months. The uh, curriculum review process took us Three months. I didn't take long. One meeting at the department, another meeting at the, the school, another meeting at the, at the dean's committee, another meeting at the senate. These were four meetings. After the curricula is developed, revised, and submitted to university senates, participants from higher learning institutions embark on a minimum three-week training of facilitators on the Farmer Field School's methodology. A core set of topics are covered in this step. In addition to the theoretical aspect of farmer field schools, community outreach sites are established so that the university participants can practice their skills in a real-world context. All training participants were selected on the basis of their exposure to rural development activities. Various topics were covered during the uh, training workshop. Um, most interesting of were the, 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 the workshop facilitation skills, uh, presentation skills, uh, group dynamics, uh, experiential learning, uh, participatory uh, monitoring and evaluation skills, particularly focusing on farmers' field school. The most important aspect that we learned in the training in relation to the farmers was giving respect to the community, to the farmers. 
we did not ignore the skills that they have. We even presented ourselves that we want to learn from them. We were, we were there to give them guidance and show them. But after that, they took the process into their hands. That was the key lesson that we learned from the training workshop. When we were doing the first training, we visited several sites, two sites, two times. Then after the preparation, they were giving us some assignment. And we were practicing even before we go for the field practice. The uh, outreach site has been very, very impressive. That has also given us a lot of impression on how farmers have developed their own accumulated folks' knowledge and uh, putting it into practice and showing that for, for us. But the operation of the community outreach sites doesn't come without challenges. Either the farmers are not well equipped, or the trainees, they need more and more visits. Also when they visit just once or twice, they might not be able to get into the farmer's uh, environment very well, which also brings some uh, challenges. One of the challenges is to convince them some things don't do well off-season. Another one is uh, the issue of uh, attendance. In some situations, you find that some farmers, after some time, this is as long as three months, the farmers, some of them uh, would get in, engaged elsewhere. So there are a lot of challenges along the way, but they can be overcome uh, through the cohesion of the group. You, most of the problems you throw it to the group members to solve themselves. You, don't, you, you should not pretend you have answers to everything. To ensure the quality of implementation of the Farmer Field Schools approach, FAO has standardized the Training of Facilitators program so that Extension practitioners are well prepared when they finish this phase. After the university professors and lecturers and government staff conclude their three-week training of facilitators, it is time to be fully immersed to become a Farmer Field Schools Master Trainer. In this step, FFS facilitators are selected to take part in a season-long training of Master Trainers where smaller groups establish and implement FFS community outreach sites. The master trainer trainees are responsible to utilize the information learned from their prior trainings to facilitate the newly established FFS groups for an entire production season. Back at the university, the master trainer trainees conduct their own production experiments to cover knowledge gaps in technical areas and begin practicing their course delivery with the university students. When we started, uh... It was very unique. The trainers uh, were well equipped. We had to mix between uh, classwork and the training. We just followed uh, each and everything that is done within FFS uh, methodology, starting from learning class, doing practicals in the field, and also visiting farmers and uh, working with them. So at the community level, normally we want to work with them to establish an FFS so after that, you identify those farmers who are ready to work with you voluntarily. And once you sensitize, you, you identify just about 30 to work with. In our area, the community that chose the enterprise was cabbage because they felt that is a major crop in our area. And we want to know the problems, the production problems, the disease problems that affect our crop. Towards the end of the learning season with the FFS participants, the master trainer trainees are tasked to organize field days and graduation ceremonies, where the FFS community participants come together, share their experiences and skills learned, provide testimonies to invited officials, and build networks with nearby communities. So during graduation, we are saying it is the time for showcasing what they have gone through, uh, the best technologies they have learned, and perhaps the way forward in terms of which technology to adopt for increased productivity and uh, profitability. The overall process of transitioning from an FFS facilitator to a master trainer is guided by an experienced lead master trainer who is tasked to supervise the overall training process and assist the trainees with any challenges they may face along the way important thing is the fact that you're able to move with farmers from stage zero until you reach somewhere where you can evaluate that they have got some 
good knowledge of what you are, you are doing. The communities, they know they have a lot of resources, but they don't know the potential of those resources. So one of the things also with FFS, I have learned the fact that uh, using FFS, people can be able to address most of the issues they have, even before government comes in. Also with FFS, uh, the community or the people can learn how to solicit for help elsewhere. After the professors and lecturers from the higher learning institutions are certified as Farmer Field School's master trainers, it is now time to implement the approved curriculum at the different academic levels and for students to gain theoretical knowledge and practical expertise about the Farmer Field School's methodology. After the curriculums were approved by the, the Senate and were able to start it in the certificate, the diploma and the degree. And at certificate level, we call it the uh, introduction to FFS and at diploma we call it principles of FFS and at degree level we call it the integrated FFS approach. We are lecturers. Giving lectures to the students is a one way uh, without uh, paying attention too much to involving students. After the training I tried to implement the interactive and the participatory uh, method particularly in my course while I was teaching project planning and management. Even my students found that method to be very friendly, interactive, interesting, not boring. When it was introduced, to me it was a good experience because we, I also did the practical in the field during the attachment at Point University Farm. So from there I learned a lot from the farmers because they, they are someone who, who already has the knowledge. Our, our field, our, our students go to the farmers, stay with them, learn with them, interact with them, and at the end of the day, they, they get better knowledge, they, they learn, they get uh, information, and then they can help their, 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 our, our farmers better. The final step of the institutionalization process is outreach and scale-up of the Farmer Field School's methodology. This involves continued partnerships with the surrounding communities near the higher learning institution monitoring and evaluation exercises, and promotional activities to interested stakeholders on the Farmer Field School's methodology. What we specifically learned during the training workshop was that the four monitoring benchmarks, the social, economic, uh, environmental, and the human, these were the four aspects of the benchmark that were uh, going to be used as monitoring tools. We have considered the promotional aspect as one important point in terms of spreading the principles and the philosophies of FFS. Because if we cannot promote and sensitize, we felt the program might not uh, reach the desired goal. This field day, this is owned by the farmers themselves. They are going to showcase what they have been doing, that we did in plot A, we did this, and these are the results, and the people will see the results themselves. The university is very happy for being the first university in Ethiopia, introducing FFS in its academic program. So after that, the university does not want to limit itself as the only university and uh, there is a plan now to take out this to other universities and uh, to the vocational agricultural colleges that are managed by the Ministry of Agriculture. For more information on the institutionalization of the Farmer Field Schools methodology, visit the FAO Global Farmer Field Schools platform or contact farmer-field-schools at fao.org or fao-sfe at fao.org.